Assalamu alaikum my dear students and welcome to the lecture of information technology for standard 12th chapter number 3 advanced javascript as in previous lecture we have already uh, study about SOP that is skill oriented pro practical we have done one practical in the skill uh, of the skill oriented practical now we are going to see the another one SOP 4 ok in your book SOP 4 is there the question for SOP 4 is create event driven program for the following make use of appropriate variables javascript inbuilt functions and control structure so what you are supposed to do in this program first one is to accept a string from the user first you are supposed to accept the string from the user and then reverse the given string enter the string and check whether it is palindrome or not what is palindrome palindrome means if you read a string from the starting or from the ending it will sound same like madam if you read it from the starting MADA and madam and if you if you read this same statement from the last word that is in reverse order it will sound like the same madam M A D U M right another example of this is dad D A D dad right if you read it in reverse order it will sound like the same D A D dad right next example is 1 2 3 3 to 1 right if you read it from here 1 2 3 3 to 1 right so it will sound the same in both the situation ok if you read the string from the start and from the end both are same so the upper strings are palindrome these strings are palindrome string ok now how to do this first we will see the output of this and then we will see the coding for this ok so this is the output in this what you are supposed to do you first supposed to accept a string from the user before that you are supposed to create an event driven program event driven program means first you are supposed to call an event right so to call an event you require a button correct so on this button you need to click on this button to call an event see when you click on this it will call a function where the string is supposed to be entered by the user right you are asking the user to enter the string first so how to ask the user to enter the string by using prompt box this is a prompt box right this is called as a prompt box where the in this box you will find a message that is enter your string and a text box to get the input from the user this is a prompt box where two buttons are there ok and cancel when you click on ok the default value will go or will pass if you have not entered anything then it will uh, send the undefined ok it will send the value undefined if you press on cancel it will send none ok the none value or not a number value is going to be saved now if I click ok if I press any value suppose 1 2 3 then ok 1 2 3 is not palindrome correct as you read it from the end ending it will not sound the same like you read it from the starting correct now another example for this is see 1 2 3 2 1 now if you read it from both the side the, the sound uh, is same correct 1 2 3 2 1 so the values or the string will be the same from both the sides so it is a palindrome value ok next example see if I write DAD dad then it is same correct DAD dad is a palindrome value if I write capital D and small d ok DAD dad like this so it is not palindrome why because the 
case is different here the upper case is there and here the lower case is there correct so it will check the case as well if i write like this then it is a palindrome value yes it is a palindrome value correct next example is madam now see it is a palindrome value correct if i write malayalam okay if i write malayalam then it sounds like same so it is a palindrome value okay so this way you are supposed to create a program to check whether the value is palindrome or not so there are two step first step is to accept the value from user three step is there first step is to accept the value from the user right second step is to uh, reverse the string and third step is to check whether the value entered by the user is same uh, like when you reverse the value okay so there are three steps we will see one by one okay so first what we do we create a button first right first we need to display the button so this is the program to display a button button on click is equal to pali str this is what it is a function which i am calling on clicking on the button right so this is a button tag which is used to create a button on the screen on click is the event handler which is used to call uh, an event okay on click that means when we click on this button it will do something what it will do it will call a function pali str this is a function calling okay so uh, when i click on the button it will call a function pali str on this button what i am supposed to display click here to check whether the string is palindrome or not this is what click here to check whether the string is palindrome or not this is a label on the button okay see the output see this is a label right click here to check whether the string is palindrome or not this is a label on the button okay so this label is displayed between this opening button and closing of the button okay after this you need to you it is compulsory to close the button tag okay so you need to close the button tag by using slash for, followed by the button keyword okay so this is a way you can create a button on the screen and you can call the function that is pali str on clicking on this button okay next step is to ask the user to enter the value how to ask the user to enter the value we need a prompt box to ask the user to enter the value right so before that you need a variable to store the entered value if user is going to enter something you need to store that in somewhere right so that you can use that value in future right so to store the value we require a variable so variable s is equal to prompt this is a keyword to create a prompt box prompt is a keyword after this prompt enter your string this is a value which is going to be displayed on the prompt box okay this is a message see when i click on this it will call prompt box it will pop up the prompt box where it will display the message enter your string enter your string is a message which is sent here okay see it is sent here enter your string so whatever you write between these double quotes it will display that value on the prompt box like this okay and after that whatever you enter here okay suppose i am entering a 1 2 3 2 1 this is what value entered by the user and when i click on okay button so this button is going to be save in variable okay when i enter the value and when i press okay button it will save that value in variable s okay and then the second step is to reverse it correct the second step is to reverse it so to reverse the value we require another variable that is s1 to uh, show the reversed value okay one variable is required to enter the or uh, sorry to save the entered value by user another value is required to save the reversed value entered by the user okay whatever user is going to enter you first need to reverse that value and you need to store that value too 
ओके सो एस वन इज इक्वल टू एस डॉट स्प्लिट एस डॉट स्प्लिट स्प्लिट मीन्स टू ब्रेक डाउन राइट सो एस डॉट स्प्लिट मीन्स वी आर गोइंग टू ब्रेक दी वैल्यूज और एंटर दैल्यू इन टू different parts okay so s dot split first we need to break it then dot reverse that means s dot reverse we don't need to repeat this s okay then s dot reverse so we don't need to repeat this s we can write it in the uh, starting okay we can uh, write the next segment by using dot okay so s dot split means it will break the statement then dot reverse means this break statement is going to be reverse okay and then again dot join the reverse statement is going to be joined now so there are three different part first part in first part we are going to split the accepted value that is 1 2 3 to 1 sorry 1 2 3 to 1 so we we are going to separate it we are going to break it into separate uh, separate part 1 2 3 2 1 like this and then we are going to reverse it so when we reverse it we don't require double quotes okay we just need to reverse it then again when we join it we are again uh, joining this string right we are uh, joining this string so we require this double quotes okay so we first accept the value then we will break it into part then we will reverse that value and then we will join that value again okay so this joined value is going to be saved in this s1 okay after reversing the string the joined value is going to be saved in s1 so there are two values one is s and another one is s1 in s the accepted value is there in s1 the reverse value is there got it so now third step is to check whether these two are equal or not right if s is equal to equal to s1 why we use double equal to here we can use single equal to also right but when we use single equal to in javascript single equal to sign is used to assign the value right so s is equal to s1 means we are assigning the value of s1 into s but here we are going to compare the value right so to compare the value we require double equal to sign so if s is equal to equal to s1 okay is equal to equal to we need to write twice the equal to sign so s is equal to equal to s1 means whether we are checking whether the s value is equal to equal to s1 or not so it will return the boolean value true or false okay this statement is going to be returned true or false okay so if s is equal to equal to s1 if the value entered by the user is 1 2 3 only so when we reverse it the value will be 3 to 1 so s is equal to 1 to 3 and s1 is equal to 3 to 1 see when we enter 1 to 3 right the entered value Uh, uh, is one to three, and when we reverse it, so the reverse value will be three to one, right? So we will check it is not palindrome, right? Because these two are not equal. So one to three is not equal to equal to three to one. So it will return false. If it returns false, then this is skipped, right? This block is going to be skipped. Why? Because if the value is true, then only it is going to be executed. But if it is not true, it is false, then it is going to be skip. And the else part, that is the default value, is going to be executed. That is alert s in s one to three is there, right? So it will display one to three in, on the screen. Then plus. Is not palindrome. Is not palindrome is a string word. So we are going to join S and is not palindrome together. So one two three is not palindrome. It will display the output like this. See, when we write one two three only, so it will display one two three is not palindrome. Correct. But if suppose I entered the value A B C. Okay. So again the reverse value will be C B A. So here it will check and will display A B C is not palindrome. Why? Because the entered value is A B C and the reverse value is C 
CBA, right? So these two are not equal. If these two are not equal, the first block is going to be skipped and the second block is going to be executed. So the second block is ABC is not palindrome. Got it? Now, if suppose the user is going to enter dad, D A D, dad. So when we reverse this string, it will enter, a, a, the reverse tail will be the same, that is D A D, correct? So dad is palindrome. Why? Because the reverse value is same as the entered value, correct? So dad is palindrome. So dad is equal to equal to dad. This will return true. If the value will return true, this block is going to be executed. That is alert S or you can say ABC is palindrome. Okay? So see the whole program. This is the whole program where starting with doc type HTML because it is HTML5. So start we will start the program with dot type html this statement is compulsory if you are using html5 then html body in body we are going to create a button on click on clicking on this button we are going to call a function that is value str then click here to check whether the string is palindrome or not this is the label which is going to be displayed on the screen that is click here to check whether the string is palindrome or not when we click on this button it will call a function value str okay then closing of the button is compulsory after this we will start the script tag in script tag we are going to create a function with by using function keyword followed by the function name function name will be the same when we uh, the same word which we are using in calling okay so this name and this name should be the same Okay, so palestra is a function name. We are creating a function. We are creating an action. Okay, if we write the semicolon here also, then the block is going to be end here only. Okay, this is this will end here. The block will go uh, not going to be executed. Why? Because the statement is closed here. So semicolon is not. You are supposed to write the semicolon here. It is compulsory to avoid the semicolon after function. Okay, so function value str, and then we are going to create a variable where s is equal to prompt enter the string. So it will display a prompt box with a message enter your string. So whatever user is going to be enter, it is going to be saved in variable s. Okay, then in S1 what we are going to do, we are going to first split the value, that is to break the value, then we are going to reverse the value, okay, and then we are going to join the value. So, S dot split means whatever value entered by user is going to be split or break. Suppose ABC is there, so A, B, C, these are going to be split separate from each other then dot reverse means it will reverse the string that is c b a and then we will join it again why because we have braked it right now we are supposed to join it again so c b a is going to be joined again and is this c b a is going to be saved in s1 so in s the entered value is there in S1, the reverse value is there. In S, ABC is there. In H1, CBA is there. Got it? So if ABC is equal to equal to CBA, S is equal to equal to S1, double equal to is there to compare the value. Single equal to is used to assign the value. Right? Like here, S is equal to whatever value is user uh, going to enter, that value is going to be saved in S. Right? So this equal to sign is used to assign the value. If I write S is equal to 10, so what will what will happen? This 10 value is assigned into S variable. Right? So is equal to single equal to is used to assign the value, double equal to is used to compare the value. Okay? So we are using double equal to here to compare the value and the compared value is going to be returned only true or false if the value is 
see if these two values are equal then it will return true if these two values are different then it will return false if the value is true this first block is going to be executed that is this one okay this if block is going to be executed if the value are different then it will return false and the first block is going to be skip and the second one that is the else block is going to be executed got it so this is the whole program if you want to write you can write it please note it down if you have any doubt in this you just note down your doubt and whenever we will meet in college you just discuss this uh, this doubt in the college in your class i will explain you in brief again okay note down all your doubts in one book so that we can discuss it in uh, discuss these doubts in the class okay whenever we will meet in college we will discuss it okay see the program again first we will create a button then we will create a function why because we have called a function here a on click event okay then we will create a function where we will do the three step first step is to accept the value second step is to reverse the value and third step is to compare the value to check the value whether they are equal or not if they are equal they are pal the value will is palindrome if they are not equal the value is not palindrome so this is very simple It just understood uh, just try to understand the logic if you understood the logic this program is very simple okay but if you have any doubt in the concept then you can write it down you can note it down and we will discuss it we will for sure discuss it in the class whenever we will meet in college okay thank you so much i am going to stop the lecture here in next lecture we will discuss some other programs related with javascript thank you so much